Hello everyone, this is Payal Vaja. In this video, we will discuss about capsule. So first of all, what is capsules? Capsules are defined as unique solid dosage form of medicaments available as small containers made up of gelatin enclosing accurately measured drug substance. That means capsules are a solid dosage form in which one or more medicinal or inert substances are enclosed within a small shell or container generally prepared from a suitable form of gelatin. Next one, types of capsule. Hard gelatin capsule and next one is soft gelatin capsule. Depending upon their formulation, gelatin capsule cells may be defined as hard gelatin capsule or soft gelatin capsule. Both the type we will discuss in next lecture. Next one is advantages of capsule. First one, the shell of capsule are tasteless, hence Drugs with unpleasant odor and taste can be enclosed in these capsules. Next one is easy to swallow. These capsules are easy to swallow as they are smooth in nature. Capsules are also economic in nature. Next one is therapeutic inert. Capsules are therapeutically inert since they are made up of gelatin. That means they are not reacting with any other drug substances. They are easy to carry and easy to handle. Next one is readily soluble in GI tract. As the capsules are readily soluble in gastric pH, they release the medicaments when desired in gastrointestinal tract. Next one is hard gelatin capsules which provide sustained release, sustained release actions. That means capsules, especially hard gelatin capsules are best suitable for enclosing coated capsules which help in sustained release action which provide protection from outer environment. That means empty celled capsule cells which provide a protection to enclose drug from the condition of environments. Next one is attractive in appearance. Capsules are now considered as popular dosage form due to their attractive appearance or elegance, easy of use and portability. They are available in various size. Capsules are best suitable for all types of medicaments since they are available in various size. Next one is they are ideal for modified release. That means capsules are also considered as ideal for modified release formulations. Improved patient compliance. Improved patient compliance is seen due to the tasteless nature of gelatin shell. Next one is rectal and vaginal capsules are used as a substitutes for suppositories based on oligogenous or water soluble ranges. And last one is capsules are available in many kinds of dosage strength of drugs. This brings Fourteenth, the flexibility in prescribing drug accurately for the patient. These advantages of capsule. First one is exact filling is not easy. Exact that means exact filling of capsule is not easy. Next point is the manufacturing process is costly. Next one is pH of pH of content of soft gelatin capsules 
which require strict monitoring. Next one is large size cell or more than one capsule shell may be needed for filling large quantity of single dose. In interaction problem, reactions may occur between the content of shell and free material. For example, powders which are deliquescent or efflorescent nature can't be enclosed in capsules as they make the shell of capsule moist. Next one is brittle. In this case, drugs which are hygroscopic in nature absorb water from the capsule shell and makes it brittle. Thereby, breaking the capsule shell into the pieces. Therefore, capsules are not suitable for filling hygroscopic substances. Liquid material. In liquid material, liquid material such as water, glycerin or any solution of hydrocarbons can't be filled in a capsules as they dissolve the cell of capsules. Next one is Volatile, organic or water soluble compound can't be filled in a capsule as they get evaporated. That means compounds which are volatile, organic, water soluble or which having a low molecular weight can't be filled in a capsule as they get evaporated from the capsule shell. Next one is concentrated preparations causes irritation in stomach. That means concentrated preparation can't be enclosed in capsules as this preparation which causes irritation in stomach. Next point, drugs which are highly acidic and alkaline in nature can't be filled in a capsule. That means drugs which are highly acidic and alkaline in nature can't be fill in a capsule. This is because acidic drugs leads to hydrolysis of gelatin, whereas alkaline drug which causes staining effect which reduces the solubility of gelatin. Next point is drug which rapidly release salt may causes irritation in stomach. That means drugs which rapidly release salt, which type of salt such as potassium chloride, potassium bromide and ammonium chloride can't be enclosed in capsules as they may cause irritation in the stomach. Last point, stored in low humid conditions become brittle and tends to crack. That means capsules when stored in low humid conditions becomes brittle and tends to crack whereas when they are exposed to high humid conditions the gelatin gets softened and sticks. This is due to the fact that 10 to 15 percent of water is present in a capsules which accounts for its plasticizing property. In next lecture, we will discuss about hard gelatin capsule. Thank you.